There are people who want to use their power for their own benefit, and they have all kinds of different you know, religious belief systems as far as I'm concerned. Free Talk Live. Let's go to the phones and to the phone. We got Chris. He's on the line in the Bronx. You're on Free Talk Live watching us on YouTube. Hey, what's going on, my friend? Big hey. time, long time. You're on the area. Go ahead. Awesome, man. Awesome. So I was listening to that thing about El Chapo, and I was wondering, did you know that his connection was actually an Israeli named Lucky Larry Silverstein, who owns the World Trade Center, and he didn't show up to work on 9-11, made $4 billion off the insurance, and claimed to pull Building 7. Okay, Isn't you're that claiming crazy? you're claiming that El Chapo's connection? What do you mean, his connection? Oh, just the connection to the conversation. And then you got Al Franken, huh? who's a Jewish senator, who said that he, in his own words, you can look it up on YouTube, got the Jew call not to show up. I don't think I really want to talk about whatever it is you're talking about there. Yeah, really I'm pretty sure that was a sarcastic comment by yeah. Franken. Yeah. Um, it sounds like uh, that person might be a, uh, a racist, and I got better things to do. Than, ain't nobody got time for that. Got better things to do than focus on some ridiculous conspiracy theory. Look, certainly there are people in positions of power who are Jewish. Mm. There are also people in positions of power who are Christians. Mm. People in positions of power who are Muslim. And there's all kinds of people who seek power. Mm. Their religious viewpoint doesn't mean anything. There are also Jewish people who clean toilets for a living okay mm -hmm. so the whole idea that there's some kind of jewish conspiracy honestly it seems ridiculous on its face what there is is a conspiracy of people who seek power there are people who mm -hmm. want to you know you mentioned it in your when we were talking about the banks there are people who want to use their power for their own benefit and they have all kinds of different you know religious belief systems as far as i'm concerned yep. yeah yeah, I liked Frank Herbert's quote, all governments suffer from a recurring problem that power attracts pathological personalities. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, is what re what is really going on. It doesn't matter what color they are or what religion they are. No. The religion is, I want more power. That's their true religion. Yeah, yes. I mean, they might go to a church on a Sunday. They might masquerade as though they're a Christian or a Jew or a Muslim or whatever it is their beliefs are. Mm -hmm. uh, they want you to believe that they're those things. But the mm -hmm. reality is... Like you're saying, they worship power, they worship money, and they worship control over uh, over other people. Mm -hmm. And that makes them feel good. It makes them feel good when they can tell people what to do and have them obey it. It's yeah. sick. And, you know, the libertarians are people who reject that whole concept of that it's okay to use uh, violence against peaceful people. Mm -hmm. We're not okay with that idea. And that's where these, you know, these racists... Um, and we've had to deal with this recently with, you know, like we mentioned earlier, kicking Chris Cantwell off the show a few years ago because he became a racist. Cantwell! Because somebody who's, who believes in individuals should know better. Hmm. If, you've, if, you've been, if you have come to the conclusion that all that matters are what individuals do and say and not where they were born or to what, you know, who their parents were or what religious belief system or what the color of their skin is or any of these other aspects that they really didn't have any control over in their life should focus on just what they do and what they say and make your own decision make your judgment based on that the individual the content of their character right. rather than the color of their skin to reject that after you've already embraced it as cantwell mm. purportedly has done is just to me so mind-boggling but it wasn't just cantwell it was also a lady named amanda bolden here in new hampshire who rejected mm -hmm. that. She went the she other direction. She was never an anarchist. And she was always just a Democrat. She went the other direction. She went to the left while Cantwell went to the right.